Here's the next example of how to use Hess's law to come up with the enthalpy change of this equation. We have some reference equations here for which we have been given the enthalpy change. And with some combination of these, we might be able to create this equation right there. So this is the equation we're trying to obtain. And for this, we're trying to figure out the enthalpy change, the amount of heat either given off or absorbed through that reaction. Okay, notice that we have graphite on the left side. This equation has graphite on the left side. So I think we can just go ahead and take that equation and plop it down right here. So if we call this equation number one and call this equation number two, over here we're just going to say one time equation number one. So simply plop it down just as it is. So we have graphite plus a half a mole of oxygen gas reacts to form carbon monoxide gas and that has an enthalpy change of minus 110.5 kilojoules. So not quite what we wanted because we have carbon dioxide gas here. And this is only carbon monoxide gas. Here we have a full mole of oxygen gas and only half a mole here. So I look at my second equation and I notice that I have carbon dioxide gas on the right side of the equation, which is what I want. So I think I want to take this and plop it down there. In addition, on the left side, I have a half a mole of oxygen which would increase this to a full mole, and have carbon monoxide gas on the left side, which will cancel out the carbon monoxide on the right side for that one. So that looks like if I simply add those two equations together, I end up with the equation I'm looking for. Let's figure out if that's true. So here I'm going to take uh, one time equation number two. So simply take it and plop it down right there. So this becomes carbon monoxide gas plus a half oxygen, mole of oxygen gas gives us carbon dioxide gas, one mole of that, with an enthalpy change equal to minus 283.0 kilojoules. So now all I have to do is add these two equations together. So now this becomes equation number one plus equation number two. I can use one and two because they haven't changed. So if I do that on the left side, I end up with carbon in graphite form plus one half mole of oxygen gas plus one mole of carbon monoxide gas plus another mole of oxygen gas. So those are all the reactants now of the combined equation. On the right side, you end up with one mole of carbon monoxide gas and one more mole of carbon dioxide gas. Of course, when I combine the two equations, I have to combine the enthalpies. So that means delta H is equal to, that becomes 393 minus 393.5 kilojoules. See, that's correct. That's 390, yep, 93.5 kilojoules. So, now notice, let me get my other color pen here. Notice that we have carbon monoxide on the left side equation and carbon monoxide on the right side equation, which means they cancel out. Also notice that I have a half an oxygen, half a mole of oxygen gas plus a half a mole. Combine those, that gives me a whole mole. So if I do that and rewrite this equation, and looking for my black pen, here it is. All right, so one mole of graphite plus a half and a half, which makes one mole of oxygen gas, reacts to form one mole of carbon dioxide gas, which is exactly what I was looking for. And that means that the enthalpy change for that reaction is equal to minus 393.5 kilojoules. That's how you do that.